Uh, what is that light? Where, where am I? Are we doing the right thing? We're taking away this girl's voice and hearing just for money. It's not just any money. It's life-changing money. Both of us, we agreed on this. No, please. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Leah and I were born together, but not the same. She had a tough start. Complications at birth that made it hard for her to hear and speak like other kids. Back when it was just me and Leah, before everything changed. Promise we'll always be there for each other. No matter what, growing up, Leah and I were thick as thieves, but things got complicated as we got older. I was always in the mix with friends, and Leah, well, she kind of drifted to the back. She always watched from the sidelines, not just missing the games, but all the little chats and laughs that came with them. It was like she was there, but not really. Lunchtime was the worst. There she'd be sitting by herself. I hated seeing her like that, all alone, because talking to her was just too hard for most people. I tried to get our friends into sign language, thought it could help, but it wasn't that easy. Even with me trying to bridge the gap, some things just didn't change. They learned a little, just enough to say hello or thanks. That was it. It wasn't enough to really bring her into the group. As much as I wanted to help Leah, life just pulled me in other directions. You know, school, friends, boys, shopping, movies, the usual teen stuff. I guess I got tired, or maybe just selfish. Leah's struggles were always there, but I started to leave them behind. We only really talked at home, and even then, it was like I was just waiting to get back to my phone. At home, it was like we lived in two different worlds. She'd watch her shows with captions, and I'd be lost in my phone. We were sisters, living side by side, but it felt like we were miles apart. As we grew up, we looked so alike. Same hair, same clothes, but our paths started to diverge. Leah wasn't just into clothes, lived for fashion. Money was never a problem for us, thanks to our family's wealth. So shopping was more than just a hobby for Leah. It was her way into the world of fashion. Her passion led her to fashion school where she could really shine. While she couldn't speak much, her designs did all the talking. She turned heads with her style and creativity. And me? I was the numbers person. Business school was my calling. I loved every bit of it, from stats to strategic management. Life was just starting to open up for us. Then, out of nowhere, that call. I'm so sorry to tell you this. There's been an accident. It's, it's your parents. <laughs> they didn't survive. We haven't really hugged in years. Not since we were little girls. But that day, none of the differences mattered anymore. All the fashion shows, business deals, none of it 
could touch the raw pain we felt together. We cried a lot that day. More than I thought possible. And as we cried, something shifted. It was like we were those little girls again. Just needing each other to get through the toughest day of our lives. Everything changed after mom and dad. I took over the family business. It was overwhelming, but I had to keep everything running. Leah, she dealt with it differently. She started spending a lot. I thought it was just her way of coping with our loss. While Leah was out on one of her usual multi-day shopping sprees, I found myself unexpectedly looking forward to Pilates, thanks to a new face. Hey, I'm Sia. First time at Pilates? Yeah, same here. I figured it's time to see what the fuss is about. And you? You look like a pro. <laughs> Far from it, but it helps with the stress. You know, running a business can get a bit much. I hear you. I run a fashion magazine, so it's deadlines and designs all day. It's fun, but exhausting. Fashion? That's right up my sister's alley. She's at fashion school. Sam wasn't just charming. He was insightful, helping me navigate the rough waters of my business. And somewhere in between the spreadsheets and espresso shots, I fell for him. You know, I've been thinking about about us. This feels right. I don't want to rush you, but I feel like this could be something real. I was hoping you'd say that. It was time. Time for Leah to meet Sam. The man who brought life back into my life. I couldn't wait to share this joy with her. After everything, it felt like we were finally turning a new page. Sam! She loves your magazine. I'm so happy to meet you, Leah. It's great to hear you like the magazine. Maybe you can show me some of your fashion designs. She says she'd love to show you her work. Watching Leah light up talking to Sam was just incredible. They clicked right away and it felt like they'd known each other forever. I couldn't have asked for more. Sam and Leah getting along so well, it was perfect. Just what we all needed. Everything just clicked. It was one of those perfect moments where everything felt right. Love can be so absorbing. You forget the world around you. <laughs> but in that moment of closeness, we didn't see Leah. She saw us though, and the look on her face. I knew she felt left out. 
maybe even hurt. Dr. Carter... I just wanted to say thank you... again. I... I can't believe I'm actually talking. Leia... You know this procedure came with significant risks. I'm glad it worked, but you must take care of yourself. Avoid any stress that could affect your recovery. I know it was risky, and I appreciate your concern. But this? Having my voice? It changes everything for me. I had to use a lot of money for this. More than I ever imagined. But it was the only way. I couldn't keep living in silence. Not when there was a chance to hear and speak like everyone else. Just remember, your health is more important than anything. Keep in touch and update me on any changes. I will, doctor. Thank you for everything. I need you to do it now. Kidnap Sia. There's an address I gave you. It's a hospital. Make sure she gets to Dr. Carter. And for the operation, she won't be able to hear. Won't be able to ruin any more lives. I'll take over from there. I'll be Sia. I've always loved Sam. I got into fashion for him. And Sia. She stole him from me. But no more. Once she's out of the picture, I'll marry Sam. And I'll live the life I deserve. Time to play the loving sister one last time. With Sia gone, stepping into her shoes was easier than I thought. Handling her business, meeting her clients, it all came naturally to me. Sam, I've been thinking, we shouldn't wait any longer. We should get married, soon. I was hoping you'd say that. But what about Leah? Shouldn't we wait for her to come back from the fashion show? Oh. Uh, Leah will be fine. She mentioned she might extend her stay for more shows. We don't need to wait for her. We should focus on us. You're right. Let's do it. Let's get married. He bought it all, every word. And just like that, I was one step closer to the life I'd always wanted. The life that should have been mine. I couldn't shake this feeling that something wasn't right. Sia's behavior, the sudden rush to get married, it just didn't add up. Sam, you are right to be suspicious. There's something you need to see. That's not Sia you've been seeing. It's Leah. She underwent a procedure to regain her voice. Risky and unauthorized. And there's more. Sia is in a hospital right now and she's in danger. We need to act fast. Take me to her. Now. We're not wasting another minute. Sam. How did you... 
We need to get you out of here. Now. Leah. Why? She's your sister. I... I know. I just... I always felt like Sia got everything. The attention, the opportunities, the love. And then there was Sam. I've loved you for so long, Sam. But she had you, too. It made me hate her. I wanted to destroy her because I couldn't bear it anymore. Leah. How could you? I never knew you felt this way. I just wanted something for myself for once. Something that wasn't yours first. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Leah, love isn't something you take. It's given. And what you've done? There's no easy forgiveness for this. I hope you find peace, Leah. But I need to heal. Without you.